Hello. There was quite a bit of sunshine across England and Wales on Sunday, but it was Shubriness in Essex. It was the sunniest spot, managing eight and a half hours of sunshine. But those sunny skies extended up the eastern coast of England. Good morning, both. I must say the weather's fairly quiet this week. There's not a lot going on. Good morning to you too. How are you saying it's calmed down a little bit? It has, John. Yes. Good morning, everyone. It's going to be fairly benign for the next few days. Today, for example, it's cloudy, it's damp, but it's mild. And you could say that about almost any day this week. Good morning, everyone. This morning, for some of us, it's a wet start to the day. We've had some rain moving across parts of Lancashire, still some around here as well. But for most, it's more like this. We've got a cloudy start in Devon. And today, for most, it's going to be cloudy and damp but it's going to be mild as well. Anna, thank you. Well, the autumn colours are vivid today, but they're not going to be glistening much. We've not got a lot of sunshine out there at all. In fact, it's going to stay quite grey and mild. Mild because the air is coming in all the way from the southern climbs. In fact, you can track it all the way to the subtropics almost. Promising beautiful autumnal things there, Thomas. Mm, it is. It's stunning, isn't it? Beautiful time of the year. But the skies are looking a little gloomy. This is essentially the headline or the, the bullet points for, for this week. Good afternoon. It has been a largely grey overcast start to the new week, albeit for one or two breaks in the cloud first thing this morning. You see just hints of blue sky, glimpses of sunshine, but the cloud has been increasing and it's given us some spots of light rain and some drizzle through this morning. Hello again. Well, it certainly has been a rather grey and a gloomy start to the week for many of us out there. But things bode pretty well as we head through the rest of this week, especially given that it is half term. Whilst it will stay on the cloudy side, it should be mostly dry. And the only thing we'll really have to potentially contend with is some patches of mist and fog. Thanks very much, Albert. Well, it's not really pumpkin soup weather at the moment because it is really very mild today. Temperatures got up to around 15 Celsius. A few cracks in the cloud right earlier on this morning led to some blue sky, but it was short lived, I'm afraid. That cloud's been rolling in ever since. We've had some rain, some fairly low cloud by the end of the day. And uh, with the clock's going back, I mean, it's winter, isn't it? I know. Actually, I walked into the newsroom early and everyone said, oh, it felt like the longest evening yesterday because obviously it got dark at about, well, half four. Uh, yes, those darker nights have literally bedded in thanks to those clocks moving back. So I thought we'd take a quick look at the sunset times for tomorrow because the sun's already set out there at the moment, as you can well imagine. But it is going to be north northeastern parts that see the sun setting that bit earlier, whereas down towards the south-southwest, probably see uh, the sun setting at around 4.53, close to five o'clock over the next couple of days but of course it will just get even shorter as you head towards the 21st of December. So let's take a look at this week in a lot more detail and as I say on the whole it is going to be certainly on the drier side but relatively cloudy at times not to say there won't be any bright and sunny spots pushing through from time to time but I will certainly notice that cloud cover overhead and relatively mild. So there you have it, not too bad over the next few days. Make the most of the daylight whilst we do have it because actually over the next couple of days, high pressure and control, settle conditions. Can't complain. Okay, thank you very much.